Hi, I'm Tink from StarTink.com. Today I want to show you how to give yourself an amazing back massage using four tennis balls and a sock. This is a myofascial massage or trigger point stretch that I learned from the July issue of Health, a Japanese magazine. In this art article, Hogurechi Studechi. This taught me how to use four tennis balls and a sock, two rubber bands, and a book to give myself some incredible massages. Today we're going to work on massaging our back in two different places. Let me switch the camera around and show you what I want to do. We're going to do two different back massages. First, we're going to massage our upper back around our shoulder blades, and then we're going to massage our lower back. Make sure that your tennis balls are attached to your book with rubber bands. And let me show you how to position this. Lean back on your elbows with your legs straight in front of you and align the book and balls so that they're against your elbows. And then lean back. Ooh, make sure that the balls are not touching your spine but are on either side of your spine. And you should get a nice arch up your ribs and down through your shoulders. Now you can leave your arms at your sides if you like or if you want a little bit more or different of a stretch, you can bring your arms up behind you. This causes you to arch your back a little bit more. It can hurt a bit. Trigger point massage, myofascial release, does hurt, but it should be a good pain. If this hurts in a bad way, if it makes you want to throw up, or it feels like it's tearing or bruising you, stop. Don't do it if it hurts too much. It should be a releasing pain, something you can talk through, like I am, and breathe through. <laughs> and the magazine says to hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds, which I think I've probably gotten to now, but it feels so nice I don't want to stop. But I do want to stop because I want to show you the next massage. So the next one, we're going to do our lower back. Oops. <laughs> the next one, we're going to do our lower back. And it's the same idea, same positioning and everything. Start on your elbows, but instead of having the balls lined up with your elbows, you're going to line them up with your wrists. This is a little easier to adjust where the balls are, too. So make sure they're not on your spine. And again, you're just going to lean back over the balls. And this time, you're lifting from across the hips. Again, putting your arms above your head is going to give you a slightly different stretch. And depending on your body and your trigger points, you may want to move the balls a little farther down or a little farther up. It's fine to put them anywhere you think you need them. Breathe through it. Enjoy the comfortable pain. And after 10 to 15 seconds, you can get up. So that's how to give yourself a myofascial release trigger point massage using four tennis balls and a saw. I'll be back with another video soon showing you how to stretch your hips and there are also some leg stretches that I want to show you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe down there somewhere uh, so that you don't miss any of our videos. Bye!